Hi. Hi, everybody. Today we're back again to drink another tea. Today it's going to be a Yunnan sourcing tea from the autumn of 2018. Uh, this tea is called the Buddy, like friend, B U D D Y. And it is a cake that we pressed in uh, from autumn tea, mm -hmm. from uh, Lin Sang tea. And five dollars uh, for each of the cakes sold uh, will go to a dog rescue, mm -hmm. a nonprofit dog rescue called Central Texas Refugees. And what they do is they take um, dogs from a lot of the rural shelters, some, a lot of the um, you know rural shelters in Central Oregon that. Um, I guess they're called kill shelters too because they, they um, you know, they're only able to handle so many animals at once and uh, they're often very limited um, in terms of their uh, funding. Um, a lot of them rely on, you know, local um, city and county government to, to fund. So they're unfortunately have to euthanize um, a good number of animals every year. So what Central Texas Refugees does is she, um, they work with these shelters to get the kind of high risk um, dogs out and they take them uh, to a vet and have you know get them you know get them their shots and get them all up to date on everything and if they need some kind of healing or think something like that they do that and then they take them and drive them to um, uh, often uh, Washington State or Virginia and some other areas where people um, adopt them because there, is, there are way too many um, homeless, yeah. you know, homeless dogs that can't find homes um, in Central Texas. Yeah. So um, anyways, that's what they do. So we decided to work with them and make a cake, 500 cakes in total. And so once all of the cakes have been sold, um, the Central Texas refugees will have gotten a total of $2,500 from Yunnan sourcing. Every um, 100 cakes that we sell, I'm going to cut a check for $500 to Central Texas refugees. Um, but yeah, let's let's get down to the tea. Um, that's kind of the story behind it. Buddy was a dog that we... Um, it got dumped down um, near our home and showed up on our property one day. And um, rather than taking him to the local shelter, which was uh, not a no-kill shelter, um, mm -hmm. I didn't figure his chances would be very good there because he was, um, I think, maybe a pit um, blue healer mix. A lot of pit bulls in shelters there uh, all over Texas. Um, we didn't feel like his chances of getting adopted were very good, so um, we uh, took care of him for a while, got him, uh, got him neutered, and took him to the vet and got him ready. And then um, we were able to make contact with Central Texas refugees, and they drove him out to um, Vancouver, Washington, actually, yeah. where he was adopted the very same day um, that he uh, arrived there. So we're really grateful for that. We. Consider keeping him, but you know, one dog is really enough <laughs> for us. So, but we are glad that he was able to find a home. So, you know, we just want to we want to help as many dogs as we can. And yeah. I think hopefully this will just be the first of many um, uh, tea cakes that we create, which will help benefit animals that are in need of of help, which yeah. are a lot. So, anyways. That's about it. Um, that's the story behind it. Let's get down to the tea. I'm using uh, 7.3 grams here in uh, silver 120, 120 milliliter silver teapot. Maybe it's 120. I think it's 120. Yeah. I've never actually measured it, but um, yeah, it's 120. But yeah, anyways. Buddy, he was he was a good dog. We're really glad that we that that he found a good home and yeah, yeah, he was a real sweetheart. He was actually in one of our other videos where we uh, yes. where we offered him to anybody who wanted him because um, you know we're kind of like a one dog family at this point. Uh, just you know, 
we're busy and Lucy is a handful, so yeah, I don't think we can handle another dog. And especially we do a lot of traveling. Yeah. So it's hard. Okay. Wow, strong aroma on this one. I'm already smelling it. Fresh. So, yeah. So this cake is also very affordable. It is a, it's just a 200 gram cake, mm -hmm. but we're selling it for $25. Um, so, and again, $5 goes to, goes to help, um, and more uh, Central Texas refugees here in here in Texas. Mm. Mm. This is. A potent tea. This is a very potent Lin Song tea. Mm -hmm. It's very strong. Um, it's actually one of the teas that we used to compose the 2018 Yunnan you know, sourcing impression cake. Yeah. So it's one, one of one of the several teas that we used in that um, is in this tea as well. So. Um, this is definitely a tea for aging. Um, of course, it depends on how much you like bitterness and astringency, and this has got a fair amount. Um, I think maybe we could do another cake where we also do a ripe cake, mm -hmm. maybe a, a buddy ripe cake. Doesn't yeah. have doesn't have to be 2018. Could be 2019. 19, we could yeah. do you know. Doesn't have to be just because year the dog is over doesn't mean that we couldn't do a, a ripe buddy cake. What do you think? Year of the Pig. Year of the pig. Yeah. Maybe you can see. No, I was just thinking too. I was just thinking that we could do uh, we just could to do change the color. Yeah, just change yeah. the color to something like red yeah. or something like that. Yeah, and do a red can do that. Yeah. If we can find a you know, a good red blue sleeve tea. Well, I don't think I don't, think I don't think we can do that. I don't think we're gonna be able to find one. I don't think we're going to produce any ripe teas this year. <laughs> okay, sorry. No. I know you're just saying like in, you know, not literally if we can find some, but yes, we can find some. Keep this going. Wow, that's strong. <laughs> yeah, it's strong tea. I know. I I thought about this and I thought, well, you know, it's definitely not entirely a beginner tea, you know, I guess, even though Why I don't not? necessarily believe, I, yeah, I guess I don't really believe in beginner teas, but I'm kind of like thinking of somebody who maybe has never had poor tea before um, and has heard about this tea and wants to benefit dogs, you know, that they buy this tea. But, you know, you if, know if you're one of those people, take it and buy yeah. it and put it away and hold on to it or try it and, or you know. Or you can always put less. Yeah, the that's true. The in, you know. Well, pretty much everybody puts less in than we do, but. Yeah, maybe, oh, wow. maybe when I say it's uh, strong, maybe it's not strong for you because you don't use much the tea like Scott. It's also very sweet too. There's almost like a licorice sweetness to it. Just a ganzal. Yeah. Like something like that. Ooh. Thank you. Yeah. Dry, it's dry and sweet. Is, uh, yeah, it's very full bodied. It's I it's I mean I've you know, this tea is quite familiar to me. So I mean I, I know I love this tea. steep this and then I'm going to boil the water again because we let the water sit a little bit too long. I think 
I think the second uh, step you did you wait uh, a Maybe. little bit longer. Yeah, I, yeah. This one is uh, less. Mm. Less, like yeah, the nice. One. This one's a little more balanced. Very nice. Just mm. so when you make this tea, don't tap too much. Yeah, just so you have to remember. Yeah, keep the steeping time short yeah. in the beginning. Um, it's a it's a strong tea. Nice mouthfeel though, huh? It's really like. For being such an affordable tea too, mm -hmm. I mean, it's really got a, a very nice mouthfeel and 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 uh, mm. It's got a real nice sweetness coming back. I'm gonna. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's time. Yeah. It's much more mild now. Mmm. Ah, it's nice. That's good. Yeah. Buddy. He's cute. Lucy loved him. At first she didn't. At first I thought she was gonna rip his throat out. Every oh, time yeah. he tried, she would eat and he'd come around her uh -huh. or there was any kind of food or even we would be eating and Lucy would be like expecting, you know, and he'd come near and she would go, Aah! and it was all scary, but he was fine. I mean, Lucy's not brutal. She's not like, you know, she, she was just trying to scare him away. But then eventually, she just he just won her heart. It was kind of sad to sep to send him, yeah. send him to Washington. But At least you know, he found somebody good to oh, take yeah. care of him. Yeah. Yeah. There are just way too many, way 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 too many, um, like backyard breeders and um, just dogs that get you know get dumped people get dogs and here and i don't know they get dogs for their little kids and they think it's going to be cool to have this yeah. that this dog and that dog and then a few months later when they have to neuter yeah. it and take it to the doctor and get all these shots and spend money on it it's not this cute little puff ball anymore they just yeah. dump it which is just completely it just completely blows my mind you know it's like we just, and we live down, we live in a kind of a semi-rural area and uh, it's this kind of like dead end road and a, a lot of people come, yeah, a lot of people drive down here and dump dogs. It happens all the time. Um, we've got yeah. a fence, but he somehow, he managed to, I think he squeezed under the front gate Yeah. and uh and got in, I would looked out and just I was actually sitting here drinking tea and I looked out and I saw Lucy run past and there the was dog? like this other dog and I was like, What the heck is that? It's, it's like another dog just showed up and actually that's his second second dog doing that. I have another time, but his neighbor's neighbor's dog just Oh, that dog was this tiny little dog that just like I don't I think he fit through the little square in the fence in the, I don't know, he was this tiny little dog. Yeah, but, yeah. just to sit here drinking tea and the Lucy just to run around with another dog in the yard. That's weird. Mm. Wow, that's so good. Yeah, this tea definitely will be much better with the age. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got, it's a little bit, it's a little bit intense right now, so. But, yeah, but remember, it's very fresh. Yeah. It's 2018 autumn tea. Yeah, just think though, I mean, $25, $5 helps dogs, and you've got this cake, you can, yeah. if, if you're one of those people who likes to drink Yongsheng, you can dr drink it and it's good, it's clean. Yeah. Um, and... If you want to get a cake to put away for a while, yeah. this is totally, I think this is a great one, so. Yeah, good tea with cute wrapper. Yeah. Uh, who doesn't Yeah, I wanted wrapper? to double check. Oh, it's um, Yuri Kobolansky, and I might not be pronouncing his name correctly, um, who actually 
submitted a really cool design for Year of the Pig. It's like yeah. this happy pig. It's like yeah. got a blue background and this, it's a painted, okay. it's, okay. it's, it's, it's beautiful. And uh, this is also his, um, his design as well. Mm -hmm. And a uh, really excellent one. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Let's do another steep here. Let's see. Wow. Nice olive, dark green leaf. Um, It's not, you know, old tree tea, but it's like old plantation tea. Yeah. You know, 40, 60 year old um, plantation bushes, very mm -hmm. mature um, tea grown in Linsang. And uh, yeah, it's really, it's, it's, it goes quite a few steeps too. It really mm -hmm. hasn't lost my, a little yeah. bit because I pushed it on the second steep, but yeah. it's really, it's really solid still, tea. Still, still very strong. Yeah. Oops. What am I doing? Talking. Here. But yeah, that's cool. I didn't even think of that. I was like, we can just do a buddy ripe cake. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a buddy okay, ripe I can cake. Do that yeah. This yeah. year. Yeah. And then, you know, another five bucks. You know, we can do a yeah. hundred, we can do 500 cakes like we did with this one, which will raise 2,500 bucks. Mm -hmm. So we can raise $5,000 this year for for dogs yeah 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 we will have some dogs from the family take care of them yeah that's something beautiful yeah i just yeah anyways i just hope that people will stop just breeding 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 dogs you know then just people should you know well i mean the main thing is is it's not about to me, it's not about the breeding of dogs so much as the fact that people keep, you know, dump them. yeah, they get more dogs and then dump them. I mean, you know, yeah. if you get a dog, it doesn't matter if it's a purebred or a mixed, you know, breed or whatever. The most important thing is, is that you, you know, if you're going to get a dog, you take care of it for its entire life, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't understand why people don't understand that. And I'm sure all of our people watching are... are wonderful dog owners so it's not like i'm you know lecturing i'm just i'm just thinking to myself i just don't understand i don't really understand that yeah. that thinking you know it's you like know, it's okay you're not a dog lover but you know don't just uh, decide to have them and uh, easily dump them well i think you have to be a dog lover though to have a dog because it's not you know, unless you're like really like dogs, having a dog is not, it's, it can be it's a real shit easy. show. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it can be a real, it can be terrible sometimes, you know, they get sick or they go out and they come back, you know, they go in the yard and they come back with a, with a stinky poopy mouth uh, or who you talk about? they get, <laughs> they get sick and they pee, you know, they get sick and Lucy was on, on, got sick a few years back and she was on steroids and she peed the bed every night yeah. and, you know, and or it's when just, the young, they were destroyed oh, every yeah. since they came, God. destroyed my shoes, destroyed yeah. my phone, like destroy everything. your sleep. Yeah. Okay, enough. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. Make it's sure. not easy to <laughs> Yeah, have a dog, it's not. But... Well, that's what you said. You don't have to be a dog lover. And I'm like, I think you do have to be a dog lover, yeah. really. You know? I think that you really do have to be a dog lover. Because it's, you know, it's like kids, you know? You, a big you don't have a kid unless you're like, you know, that's like forever. Yeah. Except but... dogs don't never really grow up. Yeah. They never become independent. By the way, they're not just uh, making troubles. No. They also have a lot of, you know, give us a lot of happiness. Yes. Yeah. That's no, why. It's totally worth it. Yeah. But it's not really, I can't even say it's worth it to have a dog because it's not like you're keeping track of the good and the bad. It's just a feeling, you know. Anyways. Yeah. Getting all philosophical. Okay. 
we'll probably yeah I put some more tea in here um, this will go several more steeps highly recommend this tea mm -hmm. um, it's definitely a tea for aging um, strong powerful bitter astringent um, great long-lasting mouthfeel good feeling um, highly recommend it not just because it's a you know not just because it's a you know it helps dogs but because it's good tea as well yeah. and I and I've priced it you know even with the donation I've priced it pretty affordably so definitely mm -hmm. check it out the yeah. 2018 Yunnan sourcing buddy raw pour tea cake yeah. and be watching out maybe sometime first half of 2019 for that buddy ripe cake we're yeah. gonna do which yeah. we just decided while we were making this video but we'll, okay. we're, we're gonna do it yeah. yeah thank you thank you guys for excuse me help the dogs yeah thanks everybody thanks yeah. for watching thank see you, you. bye